Hey friends, happy Friday. Welcome to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is Friday, so we all know what that means. It is time for my WW workshop. I'm gonna be hearing the same workshop I did on Sunday about the new plan, but I'm really excited to hear my leader's take on the new plan. She's so fun so energetic. I'm excited to just hear her spin on it because it does vary. You know, the plans obviously are the same, but the take on the plans are different per person. So I am just excited to hear her take on the new plan. So with that being said, let's talk briefly about my week before I head in to weigh in and for the workshop. So my week, my week was good. Overall, I kicked some major you know what in the exercise department. I went to Jazzercise three days, maybe four, I can't even remember, and worked my tail off. You guys, I am loving it. I am not getting as sore as I did in the beginning, which is a good thing, but I am still tired, exhausted, sweaty, and feeling it after my workout. So I am loving that. My food this week was pretty good. There was a little bit of a transition for me the first few days of the week, moving from freestyle, aka the blue plan, to the green plan. So a few challenges here and there, but overall, my food for the week was pretty good. On Wednesday, I think for a second, Wednesday, I had a scarf exchange slash wine night at my real estate office. So I did have wine. They brought in Mexican food. I did count for it. I had 18 points left when I walked in the door and I had one glass of wine, a small plate of the Mexican food, and I chose the chicken and then we had dessert. So I'm hoping I was pretty close within my points, but that I also worked out that day as well. So I felt like I did pretty darn good considering the situation. But on a not so good note, I'd like to know why does this always happen to me? Why does my glorious time of the month start the day before weigh-in? Why? It happens to me every single month. Even though the date I start varies, it's always on a Thursday. So I need a break. Come on. Come on, Mother Nature. Give me a break. So I started obviously yesterday. So today is day two. So I'm not feeling the best today. I'm definitely feeling a little bit of bloat. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, it doesn't affect my way in because I worked super hard this last week. I just don't understand why it hates me. And it has to start on a Thursday every single month. Why? Why does this always happen to me? It is so frustrating. Even if it started the day of weigh in or the day after would be so much better. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to see how that helps me or hinders me in my weight loss. But overall, you guys, I had a great week. I can't wait to share a little bit more about the new plans with you when I get back out of the workshop. So if you want to hear how my weigh-in went and a little bit more about the new plans, stay tuned. Hi friends, welcome back. So I just got out of my WW workshop. It was really nice to see my coaches or my leaders take on the changes on WW. A lot of similar information that I shared after I went to the workshop on this last Sunday. Also, to let you guys know, I have put out two videos regarding the new changes on WW. So my first video was all about the new plans. I highly recommend that you check that out. I am actually going to link both videos down in the description box below. And then I put out a video yesterday, Thursday, helping you choose the right plan for you. We went over all of the pros and cons of the different plans, and then I gave you a few tips and tricks and a little bit of food for thought on what to think about before you chose your plan. So today was just kind of a reiteration of the things that I've already talked about in both of those videos. So I, again, will link those down in the description box below. So I wanna just go over basically what was here on the weekly as far as the new plan changes, since I've already in depth talked about those in previous videos. So let's talk about a little bit more about the new plans per the WW Weekly. So the weekly talks about the different programs and the things that have changed in those different programs. I guess I should say plans, the things that have changed in the three plan options. So again, there are three new plans on WW. The basis of all three plans is exactly the same. It is aligned with smart points and the only difference in the three plans 
are the zero point foods. So as far as the smart point values of other foods, they are exactly the same as what they used to be. So the three colored plans are blue, which is essentially exactly like freestyle. Nothing changed from the old freestyle program a week ago to the blue plan now. There is also the green plan, which is very similar to smart points prior to freestyle. And then there is the purple plan, which is similar, but not exact to the old core slash simply filling plan. A lot of changes from that plan, but it's reminiscent of that old plan. So when you are going to choose your plans, the first thing you should look at is the zero point foods. So get to know your zero point foods. There are over 300 on the purple plan. And those zero point foods include all of your vegetables, fruits, including your starchy vegetables, lean proteins, but you also have whole grains on the zero point list for purple. Things such as whole grain pasta or vegetable pasta. You still have all of your legumes, you barley, quinoa, potatoes, all of the potatoes, red, white, yellow, purple, sweet potato are all zero points on the purple plan. So that is what comprises those 300 zero point foods. Now on the blue plan, you have 200 zero point foods and those zero point foods are the exact same ones that you had on freestyle so again fruits vegetables including starchy vegetables lean proteins and beans legumes that type of thing are all zero points on blue and then on the green plan you have 100 zero point foods that comprise mostly of fruits and vegetables not including starchy vegetables and the other difference is the number of daily smart points that you receive on the different plans so on the purple plan the minimum of smart points daily that you receive is 16. now not everybody gets 16 smart points it is based on your age your height your weight and your gender so your smart points are going to vary on the blue plan again the minimum is 23 just like freestyle and on the green plan the minimum number of daily smart points is 30. so that's the difference you guys the number of daily smart points and the zero point foods the points value for white rice on all three plans is exactly the same so it isn't that different than it was other than the zero point foods the second thing on the ww weekly is commit to tracking. I know that we say we track, but do we track honestly? Are we committed to tracking exactly what we should be tracking? Everything that goes into our mouth. Now, WW says that you do not have to weigh, measure, or track the zero point foods, but I am here with a PSA, a public service announcement. If you are someone that struggles with portion control, especially if some of those zero point foods are your favorite foods, make sure that you are weighing and measuring those. You don't necessarily have to track them, but make sure that you are mindful of your portion control. So this week and moving forward, let's really focus on tracking honestly tracking our foods especially if you are switching to the green plan where you literally have to track everything other than fruits and vegetables make sure that you are honestly tracking you are weighing measuring and you are very mindful of what you are eating and tracking everything that is where you're going to see success on really any of the three plans but especially if you are someone that's chosen the green plan and the third tip from ww is tune into your community if you attend workshops that is such a great community i'm telling you right now i love my workshop i don't think my journey would be the same without my workshop i've made so many great friends the information the tips the tricks the things shared at my workshop are essential so if you can make it to a workshop or it works into your budget highly recommend there's also connect and connect has hashtags for the different program colors there's hashtag team blue hashtag team green and hashtag team purple or just hashtag blue green or purple that will bring you to different groups where you can find inspiration ideas information on the plan that you're choosing to follow and also of course there is the 24 7 live chat that is through the ww app where you can ask any question so tap into your community and the number one community you guys is right here on youtube right here and also on facebook if you are not part of my facebook group go join us we have over almost eleven thousand members i'm going to put it right here on the screen for you guys but that is what i'm talking about when i say tapping into your community tap into other people working the program and on that i want to stress to you that even though there are different plans under the umbrella of ww 
We are all on the same program. We are all eating the same foods. We are all going for the same goals. So just because your fellow YouTuber or Facebook friend or friend in real life are doing a different program than you doesn't mean that you can't actively participate in the community. I know for me on my YouTube channel, I'm gonna be following the green plan, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the people following the purple and blue can't still take part in my recipes and in my channel because we're all on the same program. The only thing that differs is the zero point foods. So don't let your favorite YouTuber go or um, exit out of a Facebook group because they're not on the exact same color plan as you because we're all on WW. We are all on WW. Please remember that and stick with us because I know for me on my Facebook group, my admins are going to convert all of the recipes into blue and purple as well. So when recipes are shared on my Facebook group from my YouTube channel, you will have the points for all three plans. So don't shy away from the community that you've been involved in when you were on freestyle because the color of plan that you chose is different. So now let's talk about my weigh in. Again, I had a pretty good week. I rocked it at Jazzer Size, but again, why does it always happen to me that my lovely time of the month starts the day before weigh-in? So I knew that when I stepped on the scale Wednesday, I was actually down over two pounds for the week. I was so excited. It made perfect sense based on my eating and my exercise. But when I stepped on the scale today, two days later, one day after the lovely time of the month, I only lost 0.2. And I don't even want to say only lost because any loss, during this time is fabulous, but I am down 0.2. Now I'm hoping that with my committing to tracking and my really focusing on the green plan this next week, that I will see a substantial loss on the scale next Friday because this wonderful time will be over and I'm going to be following my own advice where I'm going to tap into my community, focus on my tracking and really think about my zero point foods and portion control and mindfully eat those zero point foods this next week. That should all translate to a great loss on the scale next week. So I am also, even though it is my birthday on Monday and my anniversary on Sunday and my husband's birthday on Sunday, for those of you that didn't know, we actually got married on my husband's birthday, which is November 17th. So that is his birthday and our anniversary. And then my birthday is November 18th. So we are side by side. So it is a busy time for us. I am committed committed to staying within my points. And I'm actually going to Jazzercise on Monday on my birthday to really just enjoy my day. And that is just such a big part of my life now that I wanted to incorporate that into my birthday. So that is my plan for this next week. I'm going to kick some green plans booty. I am going to track. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to do all the things to see a loss on the scale next week. So I want to hear from you. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Please down in the comments, let me know what plan you've chosen and how your week went. If you are new to my channel, welcome. This is such a great place to be both here on YouTube and Facebook. So definitely head over to my Facebook group. Down in the description box is a link that will take you right to my group as well as all of my discount codes and different websites that I can offer my favorite WW products to you guys on. And if you are new and you are on the fence of whether you want to join WW, also in my description box is a link for a free month. You will get a free month on WW. You can try it out see if you like it. And I also get a free month. So it is a win-win for both of us. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell. So you're notified every time I upload thumbs up this video. It means a lot to me and it inspires me to do more videos for you guys. And of course, leave those comments down below with the plan that you've chosen and how your week went. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am excited rejuvenated and ready to take on the new my ww and i hope that you are too and i'll see you guys all next time bye guys mm -hmm.